Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we'll see the question integer to Roman. We have earlier solved a question that was converting Roman to integer. Now let's see the opposite one. So given Roman numerals are represented by seven different symbols as given, so we need to give the Roman equivalent of the integer that is given to us in the input. So here are some of the rules that are there. Roman numerals are usually written largest to smallest from left to right. However, the numeral for 4 is not 4 times i. Instead, the number 4 is written by this 1 followed by 5. Because the 1 is before 5, we actually subtract it, making it 4. The same principle applies to the number 9, which is written as 1 and then 10. There are 6 instances where subtraction is used. 1 can be placed before 5 and 10. 10 can be placed before 50 and 100 and C that is 100 can be placed before D that is 500 and 1000 to make these all numbers. So this is a very basic question wherein we know what are the possibilities of the combinations that we can get by applying these rules and then as we know that this numerals are written largest to smallest we would use the same rule in order to create our Roman string. So we'll go from the largest number possible and check whether we can put that particular Roman numeral in our string or not. If yes, we put it and we'll subtract that number from our input. So without wasting any time, let's just dive into the code and solve the question. So initially, we would know that these are the possible combinations that could be formed by using these conditions. So we would need some kind of a mapping to map these. So let's take two arrays, one for the character and one for the integer. And we will start storing from the highest to the lowest order. So that would be 1000 followed by 900 followed by 500 and so on. So these are nothing but the numbers I have specified here. And my code would be these particular characters. So that's about our encoding that we'll be using and now we'll start looping. But before that, let's take a result variable that would be of the type string builder. This will store our Roman numeral string and we loop on all these values. So let's take a for loop. So inside this for loop, I'll check while my number is greater than or equal to the int code that I'm having at the current ith position, I need to append that value corresponding to that code in my code array into my string builder. And then I need to reduce my number by that much amount. Once everything is done, I'll have my result in my string builder and I can just return it. So let's try running this code and it's giving a perfect result. Let's try to submit this and it got submitted. The time complexity over here would be the number of characters that are there in the resulting string and the space complexity is O of 1 as we are just using these two arrays which would be considered as a constant space. So that's it for this question guys. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. Till then, keep learning, keep coding.